good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. And my guest in the studio today knows all about memory improvement techniques and how to teach them to others. Oliver Geiselhardt is a memory trainer. Thanks for joining us today, Oliver. Hello. And we've also got Andrew Shale with us, who's a reporter and producer at DW. Andrew, thanks for being here. Okay. How good is your memory, Andrew? Um, well, I'm actually famous or, or rather infamous for having a very bad memory for names. Um, someone can tell me my someone can tell me their name and it's, it's gone within two seconds. In an instance. Well, yeah, hopefully so. we can improve that today with the, the right technique. Oliver, what's important when you want to uh, improve your memory? To what extent can someone like Andrew or anyone really improve their memory? Oh, it's nearly unlimited. As a, normally, everybody's uh, memory is really perfect, but he has to use it in the right way. He has to use the right technique. Okay, so it's not a question of IQ or brain structure, it's the technique no, really no, no. that counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much practice do you need? You don't really need that much practice. I think the, the best way would be to use it in, in, in your daily uh, practice. Uh, you, you, you're going to meet some persons and you picture the, the names. Uh, you want to go to the, to the grocery store maybe and you fetch those things uh, with okay. your brain and not, not, with, a, not with a memory Not with pad. a list. And we'll uh, hopefully learn a technique from you today. Let's get started with that. Our memory trainer knows the best technique to help you remember names and faces for good. And you can learn it right now with us. Just take part in our little exercise. We'll show Andrew here in the studio and you at home pictures of these eight people. And our memory trainer will teach you how to memorize their names forever in just one and a half minutes. So let's see how that works. I'll hand that over to you, Oliver. And maybe we can get started. What's that technique of yours? How are you doing that? So the, 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 the base is you have to picture the name and you have to link to connect this, this picture to the person the name belongs to. To create a picture and yeah. hook it to the person. Yeah. Well, let's hook get it, started. Hook it to the person, See visualize how that works. it. And the better you're visualizing it, the better it will work. All right, let's have so, a look. Yeah, we're just looking at the okay. first. It's Mrs. Renault. So if you take the name, the name maybe remembers you to the car. Renault. Exactly. You have to think about the, the uh, special mm -hmm. car, a Renault. Mm -hmm. And if you see the chain, she got a chain, mm -hmm. and there is the key yeah. for the Renault. Just could you imagine this? Yeah. There's the key for the Renault. So we'll take the next person. It's Mr. Coleman. It's uh, not written in the same way, but we could mm. take the coal okay. for, for an oven or a stove, yeah. the coal. And here he got very black hair, a black jacket on. So it's Mr. Coal Man. He's the man bringing the coal mm -hmm. to the oven, the stove, the coal man. So the next one would be an Italian name. It's Mr. Testa. If uh, the Italian people know Testa means head. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are looking at his, his head. He got a, got a particular head with a special, uh, the, he, he cut his hair. Maybe we could use, he tests a new scissors to cut his hair. He's testing a new scissor test, I new scissor test, ah. Okay. Okay. The next person. So, Mrs. Foster. Um, if we look at the picture, we see this chain with those different pearls. And maybe she fosters every, every pearl so that they stay in a good shape, yeah, Mrs. Foster. So the next one, oh yeah, he got a, a scruffy hair, yeah. like, like this. his hair is out of control, and his name is Mr. Cruz. So if we imagine yeah, he gosh, stands on deck amazing. at the cruise, and the wind is blowing in his hair, is his hair is very scruffy, then we got that one. The next one is Mrs. Deering, and um, the thing, we are looking at this picture is this earring uh -huh. and earring and deering sound yeah. similar. Yeah. yeah, it's very similar. So if you just visualize the earring, you would say, oh, not earring, but it was deering. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my dear, what a nice earring, maybe yeah. something like this. So the next picture, the next lady is Mrs. Cameron and Cameron sounds a little bit like camera on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if, if you look very, very good, as you see between her dark hair, is shining something red, and that's the camera. Okay. There she is hiding her camera, and her camera, her camera is on. Mm -hmm. It's Mrs. Camera, Mrs. Cameron. Mm -hmm. So, this one is Mr. Cowbird, 
and cow, you know a cow, yeah. that's not difficult to visualize. And bird, we, 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 we make out of bird, we make a bird, a singing bird. Okay. And uh, so maybe he's eating a whole cow and for the desert, a bird. And he got a big face, so he, he, he gets the cow. He'll manage this. All right. Okay, that was it. That was it, Andrew. Let's see if you and, and all of us really yeah. remember those names by the end of the interview. What's your technique for remembering numbers and figures, telephone numbers? What would you advise? Yeah, for the starter, for the beginner, uh, I advise those number symbols. So our brain needs pictures. That's why I created those. You have for the one, you have the candle. The candle looks like a one. Like a yeah. one. Mm -hmm. The swan and the beak of the swan, you see the two. Yeah, it's 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 uh, easy to, to remember, I think. The pitchfork is the number three, and so on. Mm -hmm. And if you are creating a, a, a story about those, among those pictures, your brain will say thank you and memorize it. So you memorize those symbols and then you turn figures into a story. So if you've got the 12, you'd say the candle is burning the swan or yeah, something. Right. That's yeah, how you yeah, yeah. remember it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, but you need to remember those or other fig figures yeah, at you, one you stage. Yeah, you have to memorize yeah. those pictures once yeah. and use it every time and if you're using it twice or three times it's All good. Right. And we'll put those uh, figures up on our website for you if you want to download them from there maybe. All right, well let's see maybe Andrew if you remember the names we tried to okay. teach you with a new truth. technique. I'll hand this over to you. Okay, and we'll start with the first lady. We just had one special mark. Yeah. If you remember this, it was the chain, and on chain. the chain there was hanging a was a key. A key um, for which? Mrs. Renault. Yeah, for the car for Renault. Car. So Mrs. Mrs. Renault. We'll yeah. check this. Mrs. Renault. Okay. Very well. That's okay, good. that's right. We're just looking at the next person, mm -hmm. and there it was the dark, dark hair, hair in his dark the, suit. The dark suit. Um, black like. Black like um, Mr. Coleman. Coleman. Yeah. That's right. Very good. There we have him. So the next person was a special, yeah, mm -hmm. not the face, but the whole head. The Italian name, with the scissors. Um, this is Mr. Tester. Mr. Tester, that's right, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he tested a scissor, awesome. right. So the next person, the lady, got, it was a chain, oh, yes. a I'm chain gonna... with the little pearls. Yeah, um, she had to... Mrs. Foster? Yeah, she had to yeah. foster the pearls. That's right, Mrs. Foster, okay. very good. So the next one, Ah, oh, yeah, that's this one's easy. Yeah. <laughs> I like the, this one. The scruffy hair. The scruffy hair. And yes. that's Mr. Cruz. Mr. Cruz, yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay, there we have him. The next one is the, this um, pretty lady. The earrings. Yeah, um, the earrings. And it, it's, it sounds nearly the same earrings, thing. Earrings. Deering. Deering, yes. Deering. Mrs. Yeah. Deering. There we are. Very good. And uh, okay, then we, we, we had the hidden. Camera, wasn't it? The camera, right? And the camera was already. Um, Camera was yeah. not out. It was Cameron. The power was Mrs. on. The, 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 yeah, right, the camera on. Yeah. So Mrs. Cameron, very well. So and I think it's the last one. Um, this was the, the the big the face big and guy, the, yeah. um, Mr. Cow Calbert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here very we have good. It. Huh? That's okay, it. I think we're done. Colbert, I'm yeah. so impressed, yeah. Andrew. Well done. I'm Do you shocked. think this technique will, will work for you in the um, future? Definitely. I'm definitely going to use it. I'm, I'm really quite shocked, actually, that I yeah. managed to remember them all. But, uh, Great. Well, yeah, maybe we can all take something back from that. Oliver, in general, what would you say? I mean, this was about names, but in general, what's important when you want to remember something? Every information, you should every information translate into a picture and visualize the picture because pictures are able to produce emotions in your brain. And if the information gets connected with emotions, uh, the emotions are like clue to that stuff you want to remember. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, that's, the, that's the, 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 the best thing you can do. So rather than repeating things over and over and over, yeah, try to no, think no, no. of a story, yeah. an emotion, yeah. to embed it in it's your brain, better. really. Yeah. Okay. Andrew, uh, do, you have, uh, do you know mobile phone numbers by heart or do you have um, them all in your phone? I'm also quite bad with numbers. I, I actually have my own number in my phone. To, just to remind well. myself. Oh, me that's, too. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Is that, yeah. A, form, is that a case no, of, okay. of, of <laughs> digital dementia, you know, that we all use yeah. gadgets? Is that something that worsens yeah. our capacities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a, um, a hard new illness, digital demands. 
really. Also, it's, it's in, with your brain, it's like with your muscles, use it or lose it. And if you don't use your brain, your memory, uh, it, will go, it will go away, at least. So how do you memorize something like a to-do list, for example? Yeah, like a to-do list, you, you could use uh, even those pictures mm -hmm. and connect those pictures with the tasks you want to do. Maybe the first thing you want to mow the lawn, so you see the candle on the lawnmower and... You're, ah, you're, you're going so to you remember them in the right order that yeah. way, right? Yeah, yeah, so that's, the, that's the key to memory is really to create stories, images, to have yeah. it vivid and, and yeah. create some emotion there, right? Yeah. Well, thank you. I've that's certainly... the thing, you, you train your brain and, and, and uh, digital demands uh, won't, happen. won't have any yeah. chance. Well, thank you so much for being our guest today, Oliver. And thank, thank you, Andrew, for trying this out for us. I've taken a lot with me from today, thanks to you too.